Okay, today we have keys from, I want to say it's like a 97, 98, um, I think it's an S or an SL, and these are the wonderful four track keys, and I just wanted to point out a few things on these. Okay, these keys emit IR. So, if you're going to recase them, make sure you have the case that has the spot for the IR. Also, when these were recased, something got left out. Usually on these, there is a little plastic piece that goes over here, and underneath it is the chip. Neither one of these keys had a chip in them. I know a lot of people think that the chip is on the board to start the car, and it's not. The only thing this board does is lights off the IR and makes it so that it unlocks and locks. And on these older ones, to program them into a car, see that little teeny chip there? That little one, which is a 93C66, what you can do you can read the data from the immobilizer. Big chip in there. You read the data and we actually program chips. We program two chips that will go into these keys so that it'll start it. And if you want, you can run that data file through um, a Britis AVDI and it will, it'll make files that you can put onto this chip and then solder it back on. And these remotes will work. It's actually pretty cool. Um, just wanted to give you a quick look. Okay, so this is Tango, and this is um, what we did. Now, we used key positions five and six. And if you're wondering why, for some reason, if we use a used position, it'll start once or twice, and then it won't work again. So here's one of the chips. And when we put that in the reader, and we go up, and we click on the icon that says Explore Key, and it tells us this is key six. Now, we went and explored both of these keys when we first got them. And the telltale sign was they had black tape on them. So if you get to a car or if somebody brings you a car and the remotes are all taped up, eh, there's a good, good thought that it might not, uh, might not have a chip in it. Most people don't see that chip because it's underneath a little plastic uh, cover here. So just your tip for the day. <laughs> Always make sure you have a chip in the key, otherwise it won't start.